Hey everybody. I've made a video on this before, but I wanted to make another one that's a little bit extended. Because I use this app called Awoken. I don't know if you can see it, the title of it or the name of it. I'm using my tablet, so there we go. Um, and I try to lock my, log my dreams as much as I can remember. And um, sometimes they won't be like significant enough to log. I usually only really log the spiritual ones. Um, if it's just like mundane, like if I'm dreaming that I'm in a mall, you know, or that I'm pregnant or something like that, I don't really log those. But when the spirit comes up in a dream, I do log those. So, I have a lot of Reaper style Santa Muerte dreams to, to tell you. So, let's go over them. This is from October 2016. This is when I first started um, learning and trying to develop a relationship with her. Finally accepting the call because I didn't want to for several months. So it says, um, this, that's, this was not a dream, but it happened right as I opened my eyes from being asleep. I look to the left of the bedroom by the window and I see a five foot tall little boy in blue cloak staring out the window. Then I get all these images of skulls and skeletons and someone speaking Spanish. Then I woke up again and it's a reaper in black walking towards me. And I put, let's see if this is all in my head or not. Okay, so January 2017, a smiling reaper, uh, like the thing from Poltergeist, but in a cloak holding a candle inside a brass holder. Wow, I don't even remember this. It was smiling and I could tell it had trickster intentions. Um, and that's it for that one. Sorry. Um, August. So there's a long way there where I skipped August. Um, it says here, August 27th, 2017. The dueling dark feminine. Oh, this must have been a, a meditation, not so much a dream. It's more of like channeling. Two spiders fighting. Reaper face in medium dark robe with rose vines around her face and a solar flare. And it says, an angry wolf face in a dark mist saying, I want flowers. Who does that sound like? Okay. Um, August 2017 on the 25th. Um, I wrote here San La Muerte, but it could have been Santa Muerte. And friends, meeting a lady that runs a Mexican museum dedicated to saint art. Asking her experiences with, no, I guess it was San La Muerte and Jesus Malverde. I started to feel a thick, unfamiliar, standoffish presence by the Reaper statue. There were three, two foot statues next to each other. One was Black Robed Reaper, one was Jesus Malverde, and one was Santa Muerte. I felt attracted to it, so I got closer to it to see what I could see. The muse museum was very beautiful. It had saints in all its arches. You know, like when a wall has an archway embedded into it. In the walls. The walls were a yellow-orange color. The lady seemed a little frightened of the spirit, but I wanted to experience it. Wall colors. Wall colors. You see how she was influencing everything? Okay, so... Um, February 2018, the 18th, vision, um, reapers in black in a field of sunflowers. That would be that picture right there. You see it? See the sunflowers and the reapers in black? That's where that picture came from. My dreams. Okay, so I just searched Reaper. Now let's search Santa Muerte. Santa Muerte. Because you can search in here, like if you have a lot of logs. 
check this out the scrolling and scrolling <laughs> all the something with the dreams okay um october 2016 dreaming of a of skeleton women and day of the dead things i know i had a conversation with a spirit who was associated with day of the dead but i don't remember who it was I was trying to decide if I should work with Santa Muerte or not, but I don't think I got a definitive answer. But there was, but there was definitely instilled in me. You see, so yeah, the Day of the Dead stuff, lots of people correlate the two. Lots and lots of people. This was back in 2016. It's only a few years ago. So, okay, November 2016. Finger. Uh, Santa Muerte was putting her finger by my face again and just chilling out with me. She was wearing a black robe. We were both making fun of someone who honored Rhiannon and being Welsh. Don't judge me. It was just a dream. <laughs> so, yeah, apparently me and Santa Muerte were gossiping. Uh, let's see. Um... Uh, and let's say November 13th on 2016 and to pray the Santissima Rosary it doesn't have to be Catholic well I feel differently about that now but that was back in 2016 okay March 2017 March 16th let's see here um Hold on just a second. My son's being loud. Okay, it says here, March 16th, 2017. My own church. I moved in with someone and all we did was bicker. So I moved into my own place and had all these friends move in with me. We started gathering all these goddesses and female archetype figures in the apartment as decor. I got so excited because I finally lived with women of like-minded beliefs. The apartment was filled with these statues. I took this devotion, I took, I took this devotion to the college, okay? The entire college gathered to join in a service I put together. I handed the preaching over to the reverend. He quickly screwed it up without my direction to guide him. He started calling out teachers who were committing adultery. Oh, preachers who were committing adultery. I yelled at him to stop it and move on with the ceremony. He reluctantly listened. We, state, we started assembling the statue area. There were lots of statues people brought from their own collection of the Virgin Mary and even Santa Muerte. It was beautiful. Okay. Uh, it says here, July 9th, 2017, a poem. Lift both arms, you'll be in pain. Blank, blank, blank again. Scales, Arms of Justice. I guess somebody told me a poem. Um, and it says, Someone here getting frustrated because I am asking for a Santa Muerte charcoal shampoo that costs eight or nine dollars for, for the box it's in. Oh, I guess it's talking about Santa Muerte charcoal shampoo? <laughs> That's so weird. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much where it mentions something. What the rest of the dream is weird. That's so funny. I don't recollect any of these. Um, all right, August twenty seventeen. Uh, let's see here where it says something. What that's what I'm looking for. Um, uh, okay. I'm outside someone's house and getting ready to go home. So as I'm waiting for some person to open the door for us i look in the reflection of the glass in the front door and i see my santa muerte statue behind us on a waist high brick wall and her top part of her skull fell off and only left her jaw i got mad i tried to fix it it didn't really look anything like the original face on the statue it looked more like an emoji i walked in and started packing let me see. Uh, August 19th, 2017. Skulls. Seeing images of skulls as a point system. <laughs> when you cash them in, you're closer to having a request granted by Santa Muerte. <laughs> it 
You only receive them if you go through a bit of heartache. Interesting. Um, yeah. Skulls as a point system. The more you see and the more heartache you have upon seeing those skulls, the more chance you have of a request being granted by Santa Muerte. How do you come up with this stuff? Oh, man. This one's weird. And it's kind of vulgar, so get ready. August 31st of 2017. It says, Brujo train conductor. Looked like a Mexican Jon Snow. It says, I'm just going to read it. He was trying to seduce me and, and knock me up or use me. Black religious Christian voodoo people got tied to a corn husk cross by the Brujo because they opposed Santa Muerte and were to be executed by Machete. Santa Muerte identified evil people and ate their soul. I was looking through the window through the curtains at my mom's house to see the train waiting uh, waiting for the train to see the brujo drive by. Um, okay. An old lady was snooping around the cornfield where there was an old church with dedications to Santa Muerte. The old lady was rich and wanted to likely destroy it. A brujo told her it was a dedication site and to come look. She hesitantly walked towards the entrance while he poked his head in before her and asked Santa Muerte if the lady belong if the lady belonged to Santa Muerte. Santa Muerte said yes, indicating the lady was evil. Kind of like the movie where the father and sons kill people but they're demons. Um frailty. Uh let me see. When Santa Muerte told the brujo the lady was hers, his face morphed into a demon with huge sharp teeth. And he roared with pleasure. It didn't indicate what her sins were, but she was about to get sacrificed to Santa Muerte. It all seemed justified, though. Told you it was vulgar. Um, where do you get a train conductor? Okay. Okay, so I'm outside some kind of beach house. I reach into the skull and find some kind of religious trinkets that correspond with Santa Muerte. And I get happy because I feel connection to her. Okay, here's another one from December 14th, 2017. I go outside and there are pirate ships that me and a crowd of people leaving the theater are loading onto. I think someone mentioned Santa Muerte and serving her in battle. Ooh, Santa Muerte haunted apartment. September 2018, September 26, 2018. Santa Muerte Haunted Apartment. That's what I titled it. Um, she's sending ghosts after me. And I was even falling asleep in my dream to where the furniture was moving and the ghost wanted to take me over, but I wasn't going to let them. Kind of like sleep paralysis. It was an apartment I had lived in for a while, but had not been back to. But it was very familiar and it was two-story. And I remember thinking, we only use one floor we don't utilize the second floor and how much space we have up there. I saw the image of Santa Muerte dressed in a nun outfit looking at me. All I can remember is that Santa Muerte is looking at me with a nun habit on and a crown of flowers around her head. And I heard someone say she's been with me for 80 years. Okay, you see that picture right there? That was from that dream. Where she's in a nun outfit, although you can't see it in the picture. She's supposed to. She has a white band right here. And the black on the side is from the nun habit. Which is also why I created the one that broke in a nun outfit. And she had flowers as a crown around her head. So. But that's interesting, yeah. Someone said she's been with me for 80 years. Okay. <clears throat> Familiarity with Dark Craft, October 23rd, 2018. Going over the symbology of Santa Muerte and the basic symbology of Brujeria, I feel like I've known it before. When I felt the cat sleeping by my feet, I got the inclination he was protecting me. When thinking of her side, I was not afraid because it was symbolic of cutting things away. The feeling of Brujeria felt familiar like if I'd known it before and done it before. All its business felt very familiar as if I'd known them in another lifetime. Santa Muerte held, had, 
felt like an old teacher and she is slowly teaching me what I already knew. I did feel a depression of sorts, but more like a large sigh of knowing I got to get back to work. Santa Muerte Church, November 5th, 2018. My husband was building a church for Santa Muerte out of stone, like used in the zoo, kind of like a grotto. I was followed um, and friends... I was followed and friends with a Black Panther at Grandma's house. Black widows exploded from the engine of a parked vehicle I was sitting in. They were the size of tarantulas. I killed them. After that is when the panther showed up. He was somewhat tame yet still wild. Insinuation of a protector. Here's corn husks again. December 2018. I was using them for magical purposes and getting reminders that I've done this before and that I know already what I'm doing. Using white balls that look like anneal balls. Wearing a pendant that looked like burned bone or a burned corn cob. Santa Muerte presence was there, but I didn't see her. That was December 25th in 2018. Um, two side pillars. One person on one end, one person on the other end were holding two opposite sides and they were representative of opposite pillars. Santa Muerte was watching over in the middle with her arms outstretched. One side was black, one was white. Reminds you of a tarot card, doesn't it? That was December 28th, 2018. Okay, April, woo, we skip far ahead. April 2019. Santa Muerte kiosk. At the Pulga, what, or the flea market was closed, but they had my info on a card to contact me. April 30th, 2019. La Blanca Santa Muerte has been helping me when I'm sick. June 2nd, 2019. Meditation or channeling. Um, I'll read you some of it. Lamb's wool. White owl flying gracefully. Ponte frutas, bananas, seven cups equals seven heavens, cologne smell, which a hint of musk, papaya seeds, um, blue glass stone under the pillow or in a cup of water under the bed, tell me to put wooden shelves in the shed, oil and water, flowers, chicken coop, wash your head. Santa Muerte says, I get questions from God. Ah, oh, that's where I got the, it's that one right there. It says, even God asks me questions. And then these symbols. <laughs> July 4th, 2019, Santa Muerte angry at a, at a friend of mine and throwing a small figurine at him. Um... <laughs> uh... July 7th, 2019, the red Santa Muerte is coming at me face-to-face, -face, kind of angry. Yeah. July 11th, 2019, yellow Santa Muerte statue screaming at me from the ground with sharp teeth like she was hurt. July 22nd, 2019, Santa Muerte walking away. As I'm in between waking and dream state, I'm dreaming how she influences people's lives and dreams. Then as I'm opening my eyes, I see a black robe walking away from me through the light of the window. Also dreaming that her altar was shining bright and gold like the sun. August 19, 2019. Merrick knows how. Fighting with Merrick, my son, over who gets time with spirit while we're in bed next to each other. Feeling a presence near and wanting all its attention, but Merrick wanting it too. Knowing that Merrick has his own altar and is trying to keep energy to himself. Then I'm fighting him on who gets Santa Muerte's attention more. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, December 28, 2019. Cracked Santa Muerte statue. A small four-inch bone-colored figurine I had had a crack on the top of the robe on the head indicating... She took a hit from either sickness of the head or head trauma for all of us. Phone just popped up, 13% battery left. December 2019. 
took a hit from sickness for all of us. Hmm. Okay, I'm just saying. February 10th, 2020. Santa Muerte Blanca animated. I go into... Oh, this is a good one. I go into this lady's trailer and she is kind of like a pimp. But I notice her sitting in the living room that is really luxurious trailer. And she has a white holy death statue on the floor. And she starts talking to it, laughing with it, and conversing with it. And it is in turn animated and conversing with her like a little puppet from a 70s movie. I tried to communicate with it, but it ignores me a little bit and acts a little cocky. I then start to look at her entertainment center and I see a statue of the red dragon from the St. Cyprian books. I tell her that I know what it is and she acts surprised. I then grab it and it shapeshifts into a blue mermaid. I tell her that it was the red dragon, but that I know what the red dragon is. It's implied to me that she shapeshifted the statue so that I wouldn't mess with it. Santa Muerte Blanca was in the dream. I just forgot what she was doing. Busy work, I think. And it says, why do we leave the light on on the altar? What does lights out mean? The light represents life. Darkness is death. This is kind of a method of controlling what we want from her. To keep death away. March 29th, 2020. Seated, throned, black Santa Muerte statues. All around me, it appears to be theme park style setup. Um, October 2020 on the 22nd. Um, toads with glowing yellow and red eyes staring at me and I'm, as I'm holding them by my face. Sinister looking. And a painting of a large Santa Muerte statue. It's a new painting, which is awesome, by the way. October 23rd of this year. You and me being whispered in my ear by Santa Muerte in a voice like mine, but masculine and feminine at, all at once. Talking to the Lechusa. Santa Muerte touching and talking to me. She's in white, black, and red robes, changing and flowing. She's a little amped up. November 26, 2020. A crown flashing, reminding me of Santa Muerte. Okay, so it was just like a big floating crown going like this. And it just reminded me of her because she has a crown on one of her statues. Hey, I'm sorry. Hey, look, she's on my phone. I'm sorry I forgot to mention this one. But it's only, I didn't mention it because I abbreviated her name. Dog Soldiers. This is something that I posted on my page yesterday. That Santa Muerte elected certain people to be her soldiers and our spirit or our shell look like dogs. I had a receipt proving it. And when I say receipt, I mean physical receipt. I don't mean receipt like the way these new age cool kids say receipt. I mean like an actual receipt. So yeah, to elaborate, I was running alongside with these what looks like black Dobermans several of them, like three of them. And I was kind of hovering over them on the left-hand side of them. And behind me on my left-hand side was, was Santa Muerte and she had like chains that she was holding. They were attached to the dogs. And it implied that the chain was attached to me too. And that she basically said the word soldier, but in Spanish. And it insinuated like, me and other people are like her bitches, <laughs> like her dogs. And it's just so funny that they were black dogs, you know, because, and they had like short fur, if not, maybe even not any fur, I can't tell, but they look like Doberman, Dobermans because they had very skinny features. Um, it was kind of like, this is your job and it's going to suck. But at least you have it. Be grateful that you have it. Because only certain people have it. And I'm by no means like trying to make that sound like oh, I'm special or nothing like that. No, it's actually... Um, some would consider it a burden. Because it consumes the majority of your life. Like, 
Like you don't really even have any free time. You're just going to be consumed by this because it's like a mission, you know, that's assigned to you. Another one I want to include that I did not write down was I had recently was a Santa Muerte in her red color. And she was very creepy looking. You know the the death figure in Hellboy 2? How it kind of has like a fan forehead with no eyes? Well, I think subconsciously, um, since I, I've seen that movie that was, you know, programmed in my brain. But it was an all red and the fingers were like decayed flesh and long and pointy. And she had the grimacing smile. And she was holding the scales. And she was like floating like this, like very fluidic. And she kept pointing to the scales. She didn't say anything, but the fact that she just kept pointing to the scales almost kind of like, you know, basically like you're going to have to pay for something that you did in the past because the scales have to balance. Like a warning of it's time to pay the piper, you know. So, I don't know what, but it was just an insinuation of that. So, I just wanted to include those two. I also want to include one more. Okay, but this popped up. Um, hairless Black Dog Guardians. Newt. Egyptian Energy. I was laying in bed, awake. And right as I'm kind of drifting off into a dream state, I see her and she's in black and she has these glowing green stars as a halo around her head and they, they fly off. They fly off of the halo and they start floating around the room and me like a stupid little kid, I get all excited and I start chasing them. And as I'm chasing them, uh, she's looking at me like, you're an idiot. What's wrong with you? You know, so that's pretty much where that ended. I found more. <laughs> okay, October 27th, 2016. Santissima and my makeup. I had Day of the Dead makeup on and it took me a long time to put it on my face, but she was reaching over with her little bony fingers and was trying to rub it off and I don't know why, but I shoved her hand away in annoyance. Okay, so to further extend this, the dream continued with her getting upset with me because I was basically using Day of the Dead makeup to like dress like a floozy. And a lot of people do that. They use these holidays to dress up like all slutty. And she says, she rubs off my makeup and I actually have a picture of it that I'll show you. She rubs off my makeup and she says, that's not me. It has nothing to do with me. And implying that my disrespect to this holiday was upsetting her and how this holiday is meant for homage and for respect and for showing appreciation to those that have passed before us and that by dressing like a day of the dead floozy is a total mockery of the holiday and on top of that, that it has nothing to do with her. Death correlation, yes. Um, Mexican in origin, yes. But it's not like her particular holiday or her particular day. That's what the dream told me. So let me show you the picture. It's that one right there. I do horrible self-portraits, but that's her rubbing the Day of the Dead makeup off my face because my face is painted all white. So, yeah. Okay, so another one. November 2nd, 2016. Death in a generic purple robe walking towards me with a golden pentagram as a face with scythe. So her face was a golden pentagram. Um... April 5th, 2017. Santa Muerte on repeat. I dream about her statue, then wake up over and over. There was a tall, dark, skinny shadow man walking towards me. Then another dream was... Um... Okay, that's it. 
Hold on. Okay, and another dream was June 14th, 2017. I put a shrine in my mom's neighborhood. Or there was a shrine. No, there was a shrine in my mom's neighborhood. The three colors, but very gaudy looking. And it was owned by some stuck-up drug dealer cholos. <laughs> so that's that one. April 27th of 2018. Hooded figure with hands outstretched to me with glowing white eyes. And June 14th, 2018. La Muerte Skeleton hiding behind some wooden fence boards wearing a silver tiara and white gown. And that's all I've found so far. So, I hope that this was sufficient enough for, I forgot who was the one that suggested that I do a dream video. This is well over half an hour long, so I hope that, hey, maybe we had some dreams in common. Pardon my eyebrows. And uh, maybe some of this brought some answers to people or maybe it's just entertaining, something to listen to while you're cleaning or something to listen to before bed. Some Many people have told me that my voice is calming. I see that as your voice is boring. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, I do that too. But um, to be continued, right? So we'll see you all next time.